Hey everyone, it is Coach Maggie with another 5-Minute Monday Mindset. And today I want to talk about the importance of keeping our minds aligned to the plans that God has for us. You know, when we think about alignment, anyone who has a car knows exactly what alignment means. It's not a word that we typically use, but we know the signs that our car is out of alignment by how it drives. It starts to pull to one side. Um, sometimes the steering wheel will even um, vibrate. It wears our tires. It's not the thing that maybe is going to be the huge, huge impact that maybe, for example, your engine burning out, but it's so critical to the everyday driving. It could lead to other malfunctions in your car. And what causes cars to have their tires go out of alignment? Well, a lot of times it's bad roads. Potholes is a big one, but you know, with our minds, it's the same way. We can get out of alignment with the plans that were really God-given for us. We're all over the place. I know sometimes I have felt that in the past and still have to constantly bring things back in because we're here, we're here. You know, it's all over the place. We're, we're wanting to do this and then we change our mind and then we're off to something else. And it's like we can't seem to focus. And when our cars are out of alignment, it tends to pull. And so when it starts to pull, it's often pulling us in the wrong direction. And it's keeping us from that straight path. So what are some things that might be the potholes that keep our minds out of alignment? Well, when we're focused, when we, when we come upon a problem and we so get focused on it we're not so much focused on how to get out of that problem we find ourselves stuck and sometimes people do that sometimes I've done that the problem actually gets bigger and bigger and bigger instead of taking a look and saying okay how can I chip away at this problem what are some other potholes that tend to get us out of alignment well like I said dwelling on problems but also being confused about the direction we're supposed to be going in in the first place. Too often we're looking at what everyone else is doing. We see, oh wow, they're doing this over here, so maybe that's what I should be doing. And we get sidetracked and we, again, we get out of alignment with the straight and narrow of where we need to be heading. God has a plan for each of us. And as long as we're focused there and we, we make those stops and we say, am I on the right path? And we get back on and we keep going. But it's when we get to, again, looking at everything else. Some other potholes are dwelling on the past. Those are potholes that keep us from moving forward too. We're still stuck in 1989 or, you know, 2011 or whatever when we get stuck it's hard to be in alignment with the plans that are for today i was reading something the other day and it was talking about our mistakes should be a path to success ahead take a look at where we got off track isn't that what we do when we're traveling if we find ourselves and we're like wait a minute this isn't where we're supposed to be a lot of times it means going back to the map and finding out, okay, this is where we got off track. I took this exit and I really should have been going the other direction. And so we do have to spend some time reflecting on, okay, this is where I made a mistake. But then guess what? We get back on track. And a lot of people are still spinning around back where they made that mistake. Let it go. Learn from it. Let that be a stepping stone to moving forward. And you know what? We can take those mistakes and realize, okay, this is where I went wrong. I won't do this again. Find those signs. Find those places where, yeah, I blew it there. And begin to ask yourself some questions. Why did I blow it? We need to make sure that we are staying in alignment. Spend some time today thinking, where am I going and how am I going to get there? Use the mistakes of the past to be ways that 
you know, project us and propel us forward. And if you need to, spend some time with the Lord, getting back in alignment with the plans that he has for you. Because they, he wants them to be clear. It's not a mystery, but we've got to take time. So is it time for an alignment of your mind? Go out and have an amazing day, an amazing week. And as always, take care and God bless.